everybody this is Mona and welcome back to Butterflies Home and Garden I hope everyone is well um, it's a beautiful day here um, in central Ohio um, temperature is fantastic pretty much no humidity um, but it is Ohio weather so anything can happen <laughs> we can have all five seasons in one day <laughs> But I just wanted to come on. I haven't really done too many videos this year. And that was on purpose. Um, just kind of wanted to focus. I mean, the garden, we got a late start planting everything um, due to having like a triple frost um, date. <laughs> so we're, I don't think we were able to put stuff in until maybe like the close to the end of May. Um, which normally um, we would have things going in um, at least a good two weeks before May even comes in but considering that you know things are doing really well um, we've gotten a lot of cucumbers and I'm actually going to be pulling the ones that are here uh, today and our sweet potatoes and potatoes are still doing their thing now a lot of my potatoes did not come up um so really going to be interesting to see if there's any actually down in those um eggplants really didn't come up over here but for those who did i mean we pretty much decided and really didn't have to decide it was decision was made for us with getting such a late start that this year was going to be mainly planted to collect the seeds um, and you know I'm okay with that you know it's still a blessing you know to be able to go into your backyard and get your own food um, let me set my cup down over here so my hand can be free Ugh. Um, but the peppers have done really well um, and as true to form little miss Deja did <laughs> steal some tags she didn't get a lot of tags this year because um, I used a different method but she did get a fair share especially over on the tomatoes so some of the tomatoes I have no idea if they're not if they're a new variety I have no idea <laughs> what they are but this pepper right here this seed was given to me by UT Angel and Kiddo it is the lemon drop hot pepper and I'm not a hot pepper eater and at first I couldn't remember what this was because I wasn't able to find the label. So I thought it was a sweet pepper. Oh yeah, I found out real quick <laughs> that that was not the case. Um, but before it got to the hot part though, it was really a, a good tasting pepper. I just can't eat the hot stuff. But we have a lot going on in all of the beds with the peppers. Um, I know I, this year I've had an ant problem and I have never had an ant problem in the garden. Now this right here guys, this is my favorite, favorite pepper and that is the Jimmy Nardello. Oh my gosh. Um, Callie Kim, when I first started gardening, she talked about the Jimmy Nardello, Jimmy Nardello and i bought it oh my goodness gracious last year you know we didn't do too much the year before that it germinated and all of the plants died except one and the one that was left it only gave like three peppers <laughs> so um but this year i made sure that i planted plenty plenty of them um I'm trying to find the other pepper is it this one 
Yes, this is called a pumpkin uh, pepper, bell pepper. And I'm at the flavor on that's really good too. Um, I kind of chop some of those up and uh, put them in the freezer. Um, and over here we got some sun scold going on with this one. And I'm not for sure if that's the Spanish mammoth, I think, um, on that. Um, these are casualties of Deja <laughs> eating the tags. Um, and let's see what we got going on over here. This right here, this zucchini. Oh, let me show you something. I am so happy. And there's not that many of them. But I have been trying to grow any kind of butternut squash <laughs> since day one. And look right there. We got a little itty bitty baby one. <laughs> yeah, so and then I have a couple more of them planted in other places. This is nothing but weeds. <laughs> yeah, at first I thought, okay, did I plant quinoa there? But then I was like, no, we never planted anything there. So I'm going to pull that because we're going to get all the fall crops um, put in. And this right here is a Brussels sprout. And I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do. Um, I've got a lot of bug damage. I really haven't been out here. Uh, if I'm being honest with you, I haven't been out here probably in about two weeks. But look at this, guys. Look at all the loofahs. Do you see that? Isn't that amazing? I always love things that grow on the trellis because they're so beautiful. You know, especially things like these that dangle. But, yeah, look at that. We are very, very excited. Be able to use my own loofahs in the soap that I make. <laughs> and over here, the pool, poor, poor, poor collard greens. Yeah, but you know what? I did get two harvests off of these, and there are some of the leaves that are still salvageable, so I am going to um, harvest those today and um, put them in the instant pot. I have always cooked mines on the stovetop, and I want to say it was two years ago. I was tired one night, and it was the week of Thanksgiving. And I said, you know what, I'm just going to put these in the Instant Pot. Those grains were the best grains that I ever cooked. So since then, I cooked them in the Instant Pot. Um, over here, we got some more peppers. And let me see. Yeah, see these, I put these labels on and they wrap around the stem. So this is a new one that I'm trying this year. It's a, a AJ Dolce um, pepper. It's supposed to be a sweet pepper with a tiny little bit of heat. So I will find out soon. Um, you know, hopefully they perk up enough for me to at least get one good harvest off of them. Step around this. And over here we got some itty bitty bitty peppers. Um, yeah, I can't remember all the way what these were. I'm pretty sure they're sweet peppers, though. Um, and over here, um, I'll come back around to that patio. Our, over here on Tomato Row, these are doing actually better than I thought that they would. Because these we definitely planted just purely for the seed. Um, but... They're all, you know, starting to come on, like I said. You seeing the good, the bad, the ugly? <laughs> of me not getting out here and getting things trimmed and all of that. So it is what it is. Um, so, we have that going on. Um, and of course, I got my black brandy wine. Uh, that is my favorite, favorite tomato. But look, guys, over here, look. Look, 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 look,
look, look. We got another one. <laughs> the only time when I grew butternut squash, um, I got one. And it was an itty bitty one. It was smaller than this. Um, so to have two, and I think there's another one over here. I'm on a slope and my feet are sliding. Um, so yeah, I'm happy, happy, happy. Let me see if I can get over here. Yep. So there's another one. And you know, with squash and zucchini, you can come and look one day and you only see those few and come back later on that day or the next day and there's another one that's there. So, um, and this tomato right here does not have a label, um, but this is a good tasting tomato really enjoyed it I am seeing this water can over here that's pulling all the mosquitoes now let me tell you something this peppermint is just unbelievable <laughs> the, you see we covered it with cardboard all of that and it still just poked it little head through so um, yeah we got to kill this off. I am going to use the ones that are popping up though to dehydrate. Um, and then I'm going to put some in soaps that I make. Um, and this rhubarb really surprised me a great deal. Um, I actually just cut some of that off to take to the farmer's market this weekend. Um, but yeah, guys, um, that's what's going on. And... Uh, I've been enjoying looking at all of you guys' videos. I may not comment, but I do um, check out, you know, as many videos that I can. And um, I'm really loving what you got going on. Essie, girl, you are the bomb. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm stepping away from a bee. <laughs> I'm allergic and I don't play. <laughs> But you, Essie, I love it, I love it, I love it. Lady Cheryl, Miss Cheryl, I love what you got going on over there. And just the knowledge that you spit to us is just, you know, just that wisdom and knowledge um, that is very much appreciated by me. Um, Bear Fruit, I see you doing your thing. I saw your video and you know what for a new mother of your second child you doing it <laughs> you know you doing it up so don't feel bad you know you see me you know like you said we do the good the bad the ugly of it all but you are amazing um at what you're doing and saw you on uh, the footage that was on the news <laughs> and i was jumping up and down saying look that's my teacher <laughs> Oh, yeah. UT Kiddo Angel. I've been watching you. Um, always love your Pepper Pusher videos. Um, but, yeah, so I've been trying to catch as many videos as I can um, when I have the time. And everybody knows about YouTube. You could go down that rabbit hole, and next thing you know, the sun is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> but I enjoy it, you know. So, that's it, guys. Um, as always, be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Robot City.